Hi, my name is Nantara Palpia and I'm a professional Kathak dancer and teacher. A lot of people on my social media ask me how I create my stage look, whether it's my hair, my makeup, where I buy my jewelry or how I drape my costume. This video, focusing on a basic hairstyle, is the first in a series of tutorials made especially for dancers. This is the traditional look that we are going to create. A neat and perfectly round bun decorated with artificial flowers. It's easy to make whether you have long or short hair. Start by brushing out your hair. Here's a tip before we begin. I recommend not washing your hair for a day or two before a show. That way it's easier to style and keep in place. Use the tail of a fine tooth comb to part your hair at the center aligned with the middle of your nose. Starting from your center parting leading up to your ear, create two sections of your hair, one on either side. These sections will later be teased and twisted. Take the rest of your hair and clip it at the back. Twist both the front sections and clip them just to keep them out of the way. Now undo your hair at the back. Take some hair on the crown of your head and comb it. Lightly spray it with some hairspray and then gently tease the hair. To tease your hair, hold it with a slightly loose grip in one hand and then use the other hand to comb downwards towards the scalp. This method of creating volume is also called back combing. Once you've created as much volume as you want, apply some hair gel to neaten and even out the hair on top. Then gently comb your hair into a ponytail. Secure it tightly with a good rubber band somewhere at the center of the back of your head. Too low will make you look older and much higher will give it a more contemporary look. You can use the tail of your comb to lift your teased hair and give it just a little more height and volume if you want. Now for the front sections of your hair. Divide the section into two parts. Take the part at the back and just like what we did on the crown of the head, spray, tease, gel and comb that section of hair. This will add a little volume to the side of the head. Now secure it close to the ponytail with two bobby pins crisscrossed. Apply a little gel on the front section. Now take a little hair at a time and start to twist it, gradually adding more hair to each twist as you move towards the ear. The thicker your hair, the more volume it will naturally have. Don't worry about the scalp showing, we'll cover it up later. Secure the twisted hair close to the ponytail with two bobby pins crisscrossed. Repeat both these steps on the other side. Grab your donut bun in any size you like. You can find them at most beauty and accessory shops or buy them online. I usually like the bigger one for a more traditional look. Put all your hair through the donut. That includes your ponytail as well as the ends of the twisted front sections. 
flip your head over and spread your hair evenly all over the donut. Once the entire donut is covered in hair, take a rubber band with good elasticity and secure the hair around the donut. Make sure you find rubber bands that are small but strong and stretchy so that it only needs one circle to feel firm. But if required, circle it twice. Gather the hair that's spread around the bun and gently bring it all downwards. Take one half at a time and twist it around the bun. Secure with as many U-pins as you need. I'm sorry about my hair not looking very neat at this point. My hair is short and thin so it tends to misbehave sometimes. I promise I will still make it look really neat in the end. If your hair is long and thick, you can also braid each half so that it's easier to circle around the bun. Apply some hair gel at the nape of your neck to neaten up the little baby hair, which, as you can see, I have a lot of. Comb and secure with two to four strong bobby pins. Take your hair net, ideally one that's not too opaque and that has an elastic drawstring like this one. Place it over your bun, taking in all the stray strands of hair around it. Pull the drawstring and then twist it around the bun a few times like a rubber band. Any Indian classical dancer will tell you there is no such thing as too many hairpins. Take your flower gajra. Always use fake flowers on stage. Trust me, real ones will fall out and create a big mess while you're dancing. I like to keep my gajra measured and knotted in a circle that's just a tiny bit smaller than my donut so that it sits nice and snug around the bun. Depending on how tight or loose it feels, you might want to secure it with a few U-pins. Take some black eyeshadow and a soft brush and with gentle strokes, apply it on the temples, along the hairline and anywhere you want to cover up your exposed scalp. Lastly, for the finishing touches, one last round of spraying, combing and perhaps spinning your hair to create that perfect slick look. I personally think it's pretty unattractive and distracting for a dancer to have all that frizzy flyaway unsprayed hair. And the stage lights are definitely going to highlight them even more. One last tip about applying hairspray. Hold the can at least 8 to 12 inches away from your hair so that you get better and more even coverage. I hope you liked this video and felt like you learned some valuable tips and techniques for your hairstyles. If you did, please like the video, share the video and be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you do use any of the techniques that I taught you in this video today, please take a picture and share it on your Instagram. You can tag me at nantara underscore kathak. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. And if you have any suggestions or maybe some of your own tips that you'd like to share with the other viewers, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I hope you liked the video and thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more coming your way.